Hi there, my name is Tracy from Randomness of Rudy. Welcome to my YouTube series on the Leo experience. This series of videos is going to take a look at Leo the Lion in relationship with each sign of the zodiac. But before we actually take a look at compatibility, why don't we take a look at Leo the Lion in relationships in general? Leos are born July 22nd through August 22nd, and as the fifth sign of the zodiac, Leo is an energy that is very much concerned with creativity. Leo is ruled by the sun in astrology, and the sun brings light and warmth and inspiration to all of us here on planet Earth. And those are just a few of the character traits that are ascribed to Leos as well. Uh, Leo is a childlike energy, and this is a sign that really enjoys the lighthearted side of life. Leos are very playful. Leos enjoy interaction and socializing with others. And at heart, Leo is very creative. This is a sign that shows up to life in its full authenticity, whether Leo is a male or a female. And Leo, as a result, really feeds off of the attention and acknowledgement that he or she is able to receive, whether it's from a broader audience or from Leo's intimate one-on-one -on -one partners. So Leos are definitely known to be, you know, this energy that craves attention, but on a core level, it is because this is a sign that prides itself on what he or she is able to create and how he or she is able to give back to the world through artistic pursuits. Leos in relationships are grand. Uh, Leo rules the heart in astrology, and so Leos are very much romantics at heart. This is a sign that is in love with love. And so when you meet a Leo, um, when you begin dating a Leo, it could really feel like the romance of a lifetime. This is a sign that really knows how to make you feel special. This is a sign that really knows how to uh, bring you into his or her life and treat you um, with amazing respect and kindness and gentility and generosity. Uh, and the best part about this is that when Leo shows these types of affections towards anyone, he or she genuinely means it. Leo is not an energy that is fake. And Leo does not know how to pursue anything in life, whether it's a career or a person, if he or she is not fully committed. If their heart's not in it, uh, Leo is not going to be in it. And so that's one thing to keep in mind in your relationships with Leo the Lion. If they want to be with you, they want to be with you. If they don't, they won't. And you will be able to know the difference. Interestingly enough, for Leo's uh, laid-back character, this is also a very fixed energy. And so Leos sometimes tend to think in black or white in that you're either with me or you're against me. We're either in a relationship or we're not. And it can be very tricky for Leo to find that in between, and, and that's where Leo tends to be somewhat stubborn. But again, this is a sign that's fully committed, this is a sign that's loyal, this is a sign that's faithful, and this is a sign that you definitely want on your side, whether it's for work, uh, strictly platonic, or in a relationship. And when it comes to long-term relationships with Leo, again, you know, Leo doesn't need much. Leo definitely needs affection. Leo needs attention. Leo needs to be acknowledged for what he or she brings to the table in a relationship. And Leo just needs to be adored. Think of a child, and that's Leo in a relationship. Uh, think of the lion. You know, the, the lion himself, the male lion, is, is the king of the pride, but is also quite simplistic and a little lazy. Um, but nevertheless, Leos don't require much. You don't need to buy Leos expensive fancy gifts, although it always helps. You don't need to spend every waking hour praising Leo, although it helps. Um, but you do need to be present with Leo. You do need to appreciate Leo. You do need to understand what it's like to have a Leo in your life. Um, and when you acknowledge those things and when you pay tribute to those things, you will have yourself a Leo for life. So go ahead and take a look at the rest of the videos in this series. And of course, if you want more information, feel free to visit my website at randomnessofrudy.com. Until next time, good luck.